It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. If now is the time that you just switched on over, come on, you came at a great time because we're about to get into some entertainment news. We're catching yes. up with all of your favorite celebrities. Raul, you love this, don't you? I love the skinner. I'm your I friend. love the skinner. <laughs> well, we got to start off with somebody really special. I absolutely love her. Baby, it's Kiki Palmer. Mm. Uh, she's a child star, but of course has really stepped into her own. She recently also became a mother oh, nice. and was announced as being part of a big hair care local, not local, but natural hair care brand so ticking all the boxes when it comes to really being a full-on entrepreneur as well as an artist a celebrity yes we love her but she recently opened up about something and was very vulnerable about the fact that when she was 18 years old she went completely bankrupt oh, now whoa. this is a child star who gained so much success yeah. and so much money didn't know what to do with it clearly had the wrong advice from different people and ended up in a situation Jeez. that could have really ended badly I mean she could have been homeless for all yeah, we know, know that, and now yeah. she recently has turned I think 31 32 years old and said you know what um, I've recently taken on the fact that investment is important really taking note of every single cent that I spend is absolutely vital and she said she even lives like a regular person not like a celebrity Whoa, okay. yeah. I don't All know right. what that means yeah, yeah, Hollywood, I was but... say, <laughs> what is her regular compared you know to ours <laughs> but I like that I think it's something that uh, that's quite important that a lot of us are not having a conversation about yes. and that's what do you do if you find yourself coming into money mm. not many of of us are actually trained to deal with it and yeah. your initial instinct is you know I what I mean spend Just that mullah reporting, baby, reporting. <laughs> and I think that's something that we need to like get rid of because we need to take this as an opportunity. Yeah. And I think learning from other people's mistakes is a great opportunity to maybe yes. not go down that same road. And this is great warning, if it anything, is. right? Yeah. And also just nice that she can be that vulnerable and open with us, you know? Many people would keep this silent because it's got so much shame surrounding it. Yeah. She said, nope, I've made it to the other side and let me tell you exactly how I did this. So shout out to you, Kiki nice. Palmer. We absolutely love you. She's so talented and of course, also full of the words of wisdom. Now we've got to bring it back <laughs> Back to our soil. Um, yes, Mikasa, we all know and love them. And one of the band members, Moti, uh, really came forward with something so heartwarming and so beautiful. And he was saying that, you know, playing the instrument, which is the trumpet that he's so good at, has been passed down generationally along the paternal line. So his grandfather played it, his father played oh, it, awesome. and now he's also carrying on that legacy. And he said there were stories of hearing from his dad that the two of them would, you know, get together and learn how to play this instrument that thankfully his father carried on onto him as well. And if he has a boy one day, I'm hoping that that legacy will continue. That's so cool. That I love beautiful? that. That's like a, I wouldn't call it a family heirloom, but like yeah. a tradition. Yay. Like we come from a long line of trumpet, trumpet players, players, like saxophonists. <laughs> I think that's really cool. And I think it's what a, a beautiful thing when you have that sort of inherent ability in your yeah. DNA. And then you have people around you that encourage that right. and stimulate that mm. and nourish that talent. That's beautiful. So I think I think it's beautiful to see it being passed on as a legacy like that. And if you look at the era and the ages that this instrument has kind of passed mm. through, I think it's beautiful to see that it hasn't been the same thing. Yeah. As the instrument moves through these times, yes. you see a different way of expression come through. Come on, Mikasa and, with yeah. the trumpet. It's just the band coming together. Exactly that. Insane. And I love how it keeps reinterpreting itself yes. within music. Right. So this is a cool little story, which mm. I think is going beyond just uh, our talents, but more our passion and our legacy. And right. not to say we can't redefine and create a legacy now mm. for our future generations. So maybe if you think of starting something that with a kid, now's the best time. Now Get a time. piano, get a guitar, <laughs> make that the thing that your family uh, yeah, starts playing and it, it becomes known for. I think sure. that's, that's awesome. That's 14 so cool. years, Ralph. That's They've impressive. Been doing this. impressive. Yeah, oh, wow. It's making me feel old. Yeah, because no, like, I, I think I remember the first song. That means, <laughs> hey, now. You know what I'm saying? But we dance along to Moti regardless. In yeah. fact, I'm going to see him this weekend oh, uh, at nice. the Cape Spring Experience. I can't wait to get into that. Um, another person that I'm so incredibly proud of. I mean, we stay being part of her legacy and that oh, is Bonang Matebe. We got to bow down because once again, she has really made history. Now, Bonang's Bedazzled, it's one of those things that I really wanted to watch for so long and would sit on my YouTube channel waiting for the next episode or segment to upload. And now it's on SABC, which is really exciting. And it's reached a milestone, becoming the 13th most watched show on S3. Oh, wow. 
Obviously, though. Obviously. Nice. And it's got a total number of viewers of 331,238. And uh, that's mostly me, just so you guys know. Uh, <laughs> watching the repeats and then watching Bonang again and again and again. I'm such a fan of hers. And it just makes sense, especially watching a mogul, media mogul like her, take us behind the scenes. Yeah, and I love the fact that we're bringing it back to South, Africans yeah. audi South African audiences and making it accessible to mm. our people again. I mean, she is like a national treasure. She is a much. national treasure. I mean, she's celebrating not only in the country but I think across the continent across the globe and I think this is a sort of a fitting celebratory moment yes. to say yes stamp of approval was never needed this is just another one yes. another accolade another reason and another stand of testament to say yeah this is the queen that we always get behind and she still brings the numbers she brings yes. in the views and there's a reason why we celebrate her Come on. it's not just smoke and mirrors it's <laughs> <No>. for real <laughs> all we gotta say is champagne darling yes. this is what we need bring it on Bonang congratulations this is so stunning but but also expected because, I mean, you're so great. Look at you. Ooh, <laughs> and uh, moving from one great woman in South Africa to yet another one that left our shores not too long ago. Her name, of course, is our previous Miss South Africa from 2011, Melinda Bam. Oh, yeah. She is so incredible and recently announced that her and a man are having their second baby. Oh, nice. So How good. exciting. They went to Instagram to post a really cute gender reveal video that you can see right I'm, now. I'm, oh, nice. Bring it on. <laughs> Annie come, on. come on, that was so <laughs> beautiful. They're having a little baby girl to go along with their firstborn son. Congratulations to the two of them, Melinda and her husband. And we wish you all the best on your beautiful journey of pregnancy. Yeah, I'm so excited to see that uh, this is still happening. I know that this is not something that we want to talk about, but if you really think about it, there's a lot of challenges, there's a lot of issues, a lot of struggles with yeah. having a baby these days. So it's always just something beautiful to be able to celebrate yes. new life, new magic, new moments and I'm absolutely here for it because yes. it means new opportunities. Yes. <laughs> Speaking about new moments, new opportunities, Raul, I think you got to create some yes. of those in the kitchen. Let's go do that right now. Yes. See you soon. <laughs> <laughs> Get yourself ready for that. So much is still coming your way, but that is it from our news entertainment desk for today. But the conversation doesn't end. Don't worry. Our social platforms are always up to date with what is happening on the social streets. So be sure to give us a follow. You can find us at Expresso Show. And I'll see you on Wednesday with more entertainment news. Yes. <laughs>